Into my fuckers. It's finna react to uh when cops uh, arrest their friends. We, we don't got too much to uh, say to this. We don't know what to expect. We just see, we just know someone just finna arrest their friends. So blue on blue. Blue on blue. Calls they've never seen before. But what happens when instead it's their own friends that they have to arrest? He run it. Shit, it looked like I've just seen the whole video in 13 seconds. And that's what happened. <laughs> Stupid ass. Three examples but still. Of this happening. Oh, three Starting examples? The case of Buck Preston. Buck? You ain't got a driver's license. You ain't got your driver's license. I got to. Man, goddamn, Michael. Please. I got to. No, 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 let's put me. No, please. You just listen. Sheriff Sam. The uh, sheriff, sheriff, captain. I mean, they've seen you driving. We gotta get you. One of the damn. cons to small town living is that everybody knows each other, including the cops. Damn. The town sheriff claims to have seen Buck driving his Chevy pickup, but nearly every cop in town knows he doesn't have his license. So why they ain't get him? <laughs> <laughs> they some hoes. They sent his like, best I friend feel to just get like him. You, bro. They sent his best friend to. What else is there for Buck to do to try and explain his way out of it? I'm 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 he <laughs> don't. All right, Joey. Buck's story is that his friend was driving his truck, but ditched him out near a lake, leaving him with no option but to drive back home himself. Unfortunately for Chuck, though, we are in the 21st century, and the officer reminds him he could have just called someone with a license to drive him back, and that he still broke Damn. the law regardless of the circumstances. Predictably, Buck wasn't very happy about this. Trevor. Man, you still can't drive, right? Pull it off the road and wait for someone to have a license. Shit looks good. Would you tell him? Damn. Where you gonna go, Buck? Where you gonna go, Buck? <laughs> he said, Yes, you did. <laughs> they know everybody. Kevin, stay out of this. <laughs> like, who the fuck Kevin come from? <laughs> Ain't nothing. This small town shit is stupid. Like, where you gonna go, Buck? Some, some, some of these, some of these people like live down, like fight like, living this town. And given how close everyone seems to be here, they are definitely. They fight with the high school police chief. Nah, no one's definitely the talk of the town. Part of the struggle on the ground had to be cut, but the cops reported that Buck resisted so hard that they had to deploy a taser to make him calm down. Damn. The footage returns when Buck was fully restrained and handcuffed. Buck oh, for was taken to the officer's patrol vehicle and driven back to the station. They some hoes. Damn, Obviously Buck. Angry, he he two grown ass men. the conversation on the way back. Personal. I don't know if you would like your mom in this. I see what the fuck you know. I don't know. Damn. Y'all did damn right had him. It's two of y'all. He said, stop bringing my mom into it. There's little information about what happened to Buck after this video, Infamous. but it's likely he was charged with driving without a license yeah. and resisting arrest. Yeah. There's an argument that Buck could also be hit with fleeing to elude an officer, yeah. but this is a felony that comes with a five-year prison yeah. sentence. It's more likely the officer license is for the misdemeanor already charge got that for just a couple months in jail. Yeah. It's unlikely the suspects in this next case got the same treatment. Though. What you mean, though? So what? Wait, he got a badge on his neck. Wait, wait, wait. The law. It's a police. Also, okay, you're going to see it again. Win it. Uh, how you uh, Cop friend. Right brake light. Who do you work for? Right brake light? 
Say who you work for. See the badge? Yeah, but right break light like, though. Yeah, they be on that. Yeah, like, I, got, I get I it got, though. I got put over him yeah, we, we know that, but like, some weird shit. but a cop though. It's, yeah, it is daytime. Yeah. 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 What's the break light? Yeah. As you mentioned, the suspect's name Petra. Hey, is that disrespectful or a real thing? I mean, he worked for the state, he should know. Yeah, he should know. While the officer quickly noticed something else a police badge around Petra's neck. Firstly, this cop doesn't recognize the supposed officer, but it's also unusual to see a police officer driving around in a broken car. Something feels off, so the cop decides to investigate further. Do you have your badge on it? Like your ID badge? Being a police officer. Right. So, mm, yeah. you're a police officer, you're going to tell a cop is, right? Your right brake right lights out. Yeah, it is. It's out right now. It doesn't matter. You're driving with a brake light out on the street, so it's an equipment violation. They really been asked all over. Yeah. At this point, yeah, the he's at issue smirk. is the least of the cops' worries. It's I don't know why, why though. What exactly an off-duty Talk about the break light, bro. supposed to act like, but something about Petra is triggering alarm bells for the cop. She's acting defensive, being closed off, and giving strange, vague answers to questions bro, that are real. Because, bro, if you talk about break light, we need license, not police badge officer shit. Cop would be able to bro, answer. Nobody give a fuck about that shit. He, but, he, but he's trying to see if it's a fake cop or some shit. He don't even know what a DCS is. But, but still, you can still be personating uh, yes. illegal. Yeah, most definitely. It's time to quit the games and figure out exactly what's going on here. Look, long story short, I just wanted to be work for And exactly, why do you want to know about Because I've never seen you around here before. You're not a police officer that works here. That's right. Right. So, are you a police officer or are you not a police officer? That has nothing to do with you being a black. Are you a police officer? He's a black, though. You're not a police officer? So, why would you go on the quick trip and get free food with your bat and gun? Spinning me. So, you're not, you're not a certified police officer? There are a dozen ways for a cop to prove that they work for a certain agency. For example, she could give the name of her department and supervisor and have the cop check the names with them. This would only take a couple minutes and any real cop would know this, so the fact that she's getting defensive instead and turning okay. this into a personal thing is a huge red flag. It's also clear that Petra doesn't seem to realize what she actually did wrong. Come on, Peck. Just minutes earlier, she was seen inside the store presenting her Damn. badge and gun to the cashier and Damn. walking out with free food. Damn. This isn't just a cop impersonation. It's theft. It's always so more to it. So to get to the bottom of this. Impersonate. But he, why did he say that? He pers impersonate. Because like, if he leave with that, she yeah. get more defensive yeah. and pull up. Or do some oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So you gotta play it smart. Then look, he also don't got backup. Okay. Yeah, if you're not a police officer. I know you're talking about it. So you're presenting yourself as a police officer with your bat and your gun on the side. You understand that? So who do you work for? Since he's getting nothing out of Petra, the cop decides to call up DCS himself, and his suspicions get instantly confirmed. Who's your supervisor? What I have to do is you call me a police officer and back up your officer right. for DCS. I've got DCS on the phone. They say you don't work there. So who's your supervisor? It seems that the suspect knows at least something about policing as she chooses to remain silent from now on. So the cop turns his attention to the passenger of his vehicle, who at this point hasn't said a word. When he asks for her ID, he gets a huge surprise. I have one of your employees here, Brandy Green. Oh. Um, she was with her friend, Petra Edgerton. 
She was using her friend badge to get free food and shit. Bad friend. Decided that she was gonna give Petra her bat and her gun to go on the quick trip and get some food. So I pulled over for a broken tail light. Petra was driving. She had the badge on, had the gun on. When I pulled over, she identified herself as a DCS officer and then later admitted to not being a DCS officer. And your employee, Brandy Green, admitted to giving her the gun and mm. the to go on the trip to get the free food. After investigating just a little further, both Petra and the actual cop, Brandy Green, admit to everything. Following the incident, Brandy resigned from her job at the DCS, and Petra is facing felony charges for impersonation, carrying a sentence of up to five years in prison. There's many more examples of these. Some free. See, like, imagine, imagine, like, you got a The other girl should have did, though. And a franchise come clutch for it. With some shit like that, and then you get pulled over, and now you got impersonation because of your friend decided. She wants some free snacks. She wants some free snacks, even though she was with you and she could have went in. Bad friend. Yeah. Gotta watch her. Gotta watch she be around. Forget they also need to follow the rules, just like Corporal Scott Bursick did on New Year's Day 2021. When hey, they showed that. That footage. More examples of these cops that seem to just forget. That's that footage when that nigga got in the shootout. Man. And <laughs> they also need to follow the rules, just like Corporal Scott Bursick did on New Year's Day 2021. When Officer Brooke Shuttley arrived at the scene of a car crash, she realized it wasn't just her supervisor at the wheel, but a good friend of hers. So, uh. Reach out for my leg. Slide and nip his ass. Not really. Not really. Are you okay? He's as drunk. Obviously, Brooke and Scott are familiar with each other, and curiously, Scott holds nothing back when describing exactly how the incident went down. It's clear that Scott is the one at fault here, so before going any further, Brooke decides to call back to the base to ask whether or not it's okay for her to be handling this incident. This crash, um, Birdie, is up on market? Okay. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I've worked a crash with one of us in it, so... No, he's not on duty. He's in his POV. I just didn't want there to be any, like, conflict of interest-type issues. Alright, that was it. I just want to make sure. Hey, okay, bye. <sighs> Brooke is given the go-ahead and told that there should be no issues with her handling this case, but that was before she noticed this. Okay. Like a hoe, you two. Now I have to end it off here on some DJ Ghost shit. Man, cause what the fuck? We already got two videos worth in. You feel me? Two videos of whatever they was doing, arresting their friends. They wasn't arresting their friends that second video. They was just a friend with a friend. You getting arrested. You feel me? But uh yeah. For the catch up with y'all with y'all later, bad guys. So to see you on the next video. Let me know if you got any uh recommendations or suggestions that you want us to react to. Peace.